Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at an ND filter, the Magnetic Quick Swap System from Freewell. Over the past several weeks, I've done quite a few videos on ND filters, probably three or four videos. And I'm assuming that someone over at Freewell Gear, I think it's called, Freewell Gear, saw at least one of those videos and I got an email from one of their representatives and they wanted me to review their product. And they were asking me what I charge. Well, I told them I don't do paid reviews. I think that would taint my review. But I told them if they want to send me a 10-stop ND filter, I'll give them an honest review. So they said they would, and they ended up sending me not only a 10-stop filter, but a 6-stop filter, and it's really a system. And I'm going to go into uh, details and show you some sample images. Uh, so I don't really try to skew the review, like to sway you. I'm going to try to leave the hyperbole aside, and I'm just going to show it to you, and then I'm going to show you the sample images, and I'm going to let you come to your own conclusions whether or not it's a good system and something that you'd use. I'll have links for everything in the description below the video. Okay, as I mentioned, I asked for a 10-stop filter and they sent me a 10-stop and a 6-stop and they're identical in function. They're just, one is darker than the other. Uh, so I'll just open this one. This is the 10-stop filter and it's a really a nice packing. Uh, it's got this, I'll get into that in a moment. And of course the filter comes in, you know, kind of a typical filter holder. This is magnetic, so you open it up. And as I mentioned, it's a filter system. And I'm going to put it on the camera to show you. So I'm just going to screw it on the camera. And what it is, it's a magnetic system. So once you have it screwed on the camera, you could pull it off very easily. Now what the system consists of is, in this case, it's a 10-stop ND filter. But it also has a UV filter, and the UV filter um, is the magnetic part, I assume. Uh, one of the parts have magnets, either one or both at least. So this is a UV filter, and a lot of uh, photographers like to have a UV filter on their lens at all time. They feel it protects the lens. Just in case they hit something, it will break the filter and not break the lens. Probably an equal number of photographers would hate to have another piece of glass over their lens. Uh, the idea being you spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars for this lens with all these expensive coatings on it and then you're putting a, like a piece of glass over it and it kind of defeats the purpose. So, you know, there's no right or wrong, it's just really personal uh, taste. So a lot of people don't like this. They don't want to use this UV filter and this is where this little packet comes in because inside of this little packet, they give you a ring that has no glass in it. So if you do not want to, um, to use a UV filter as your base uh, filter, I guess you could call it, they give you this. So this is just a ring, it's identical to this, and the magnetic, it's magnetic and it will stick on. So you could just pull your, um, your uh, filter on and off it, so if you prefer. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'll just leave this one on. Now, the features involved here are obviously the quick change, so you could take one off and put it back on. You also could stack them, so uh, in, the, in my uh, sample images, you'll see that I, I will stack the 10 step or 10 stop and the 6 stop filter together to get a 16 stop filter. And uh, so you could stock, stack them. Also, they're actually got uh, threads on them. So if you already have, let's say, um, a, th a six stop ND filter that's not magnetic and you like it, you could actually screw it on here. So you could use theirs and then screw that one on there if you want. So it does have that feature. Now, of course, as you start stacking filters, you're going to risk vignetting because the further out you come, and especially if you're at like 24 millimeters, which this lens goes to, 
you may start to vignette if you have too many filters st stacked. So you're going to have to, in those instances, probably crop the image. Uh, also, it has a magnetic lens cap, uh, I guess, to replace your existing lens cap. So it's a full system. Um, from what I understand, I didn't try it, I don't have the lens cap near me, but uh, some lens caps will, original lens caps will go on these, but they're loose. So that's why they give you, I assume, why they give you this magnetic lens cap. So um, I just, you know, the, the mechanics of it, I think are, are nice, it works well. And I know it is kind of a pain when you're in the field to always screw on the filter, screw off the filter, or if you're uh, trying different filters, you try a circular polarizer, which they sell, which I don't have. Um, perhaps you didn't like the effect it, give, it gave you, so you want to use an ND filter, and you could just pull it off and then put on the ND filter. So in that uh, respects, I, I, it works well. I mean, I just got to say it, it just works well. Now. I'm going to show you some photos I took with this system, and you be the judge of whether or not they uh, work well. Mainly, I think what you would look for with an ND filter is to make sure that it doesn't give you a color cast. Some ND filters will give a brown color cast, others give like a bluish color cast. The best ones don't give any color cast, or just very, very slightly. So take a look at the images, and you be the judge. All right, also in the package, they give you a little multi-fiber cloth to clean them with, and they give you some stickers and just warranty cards and another little catalog of everything they sell. So that is also in this little packet. And that's it. That's the Freewell Magnetic Swap System ND Filters 10 and 6 Stop. Again, there'll be links for everything in the description below the video. And my camera settings for the images I did show will be in the description below the video as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay.